Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to make sour cream. Several sorts of sour creams using different base ingredients. I'm going to show you how to make vegan sour cream using either cashew nuts, soy milk, or even almond milk. I will also show you how to make vegan crème fraîche that has a higher fat content and is less sour. Sour cream is not a typical product from French cuisine. We use commonly crème fraîche that we add to soups, sauce, or baked goods. All the different recipes have different characteristics I will review at the end of the video. My name is Lionel and I cook traditional Provence dishes all vegan. Provence is a southern region of France reputed for its fragrant food. For each video, I choose traditional Provence dishes that I adapt and modify to make them 100% plant-based. To realize this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. One cup of raw cashew nuts, four tablespoons and a half of lemon juice, half a cup of water, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, you will also need 500 milliliters of water to soak up the nuts. You will also need the following utensils. A food mixer, a medium-sized bowl, a strainer that fits the bowl size, a spatula, a tea towel, a set of measuring spoons, a small salad bowl. A 400 or 500 milliliter container with a lid. Any style of container will do. First, transfer the cashew nuts into the medium-sized bowl. Add enough water to cover the nuts completely. Cover with the tea towel and soak for 8 hours. If you want to go faster, boil the water and pour over the nuts. Soak for 30 minutes, covered with a lid. After 8 hours of soaking or being soaked in boiling water, the cashew nuts should now be softer and have increased in volume. Filter them and discard the water. Plug the food mixer and bring all the other ingredients to your working station. Transfer the cashew nuts into the blender. Then add the water, the lemon, the nutritional yeast, and the salt. Start the food processor at low speed first and gradually increase to the maximum speed. Cover the tank of the food processor with the lid. For the purpose of the video, I didn't put it, but you have to. Blend until perfectly smooth. I blend it for one minute but you might have to blend longer with the less powerful food mixer. When smooth and well mixed, stop the food mixer and transfer the creamy mixtures into the container with the lid. Close the lid and put the cream in the fridge overnight to let it firm up. If you use it right now, it wouldn't have the right consistency. To realize this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. One liter of unsweetened soy milk, seven tablespoons of lemon juice, that's approximately two lemons, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar. You will also need the following utensils, a middle-sized saucepan with a lid, an immersion blender, a tablespoon, a thermometer, this is optional, but useful, a wooden spoon, a small salad bowl, a medium-sized salad bowl, a sieve that fits the salad bowl, a large cheesecloth piece that can cover the sieve, a 400 to 500 milliliter container with a lid. Bring your saucepan to the stove, pour over the soy milk, Set 
set up the burner to medium high heat. Place the thermometer and let the soy milk reach 40 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is reached, remove the saucepan from the fire and bring it to your working station. If you don't have a thermometer, plunge your index into the hot milk. It should be very hot, but not burning. If it's burning, let it cool down for a few minutes. To the saucepan, add the salt and the sugar. Mix well to dissolve the salt and sugar. Then add the lemon juice, slowly, in a circular motion, to disperse it evenly. Gently stir with a wooden spoon just a few times. Cover with a lid and let it rest for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, bring the medium salad bowl and the sieve. Line the sieve with a cheesecloth. Pour gently the curdled soy milk into the sieve. Take the four corners of the cheesecloth and gather them together and twist to form a knot. Lift the sieves and discard the remaining water. Place back the sieve in the salad bowl and let the curd drain its water off for 2-3 to three hours. The longer you drain, the thicker the cream will be. You could leave it overnight in your kitchen at room temperature. That will allow a fermentation to start and will improve sour and tangy taste. When the cream is sufficiently drained, open up the cheesecloth. With a tablespoon, scrape the curd and transfer it into the storage container. At this stage, the cream is coarse and doesn't have the smooth appearance of sour cream. Plunge the emulsion blender inside the container and mix until smooth. Now your cream is silky smooth and is ready to be used. Or close the lid and store it in the fridge. The cream can keep for one to two weeks maximum. To realize this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. One liter of unsweetened soy milk, seven tablespoons of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, one and a half tablespoon of neutral oil. You don't want any oil with the flavor. One gram of probiotics or one gram of yogurt ferment powder. You will also need the following utensils. The 1.5 to two liters jar, an immersion blender, a tea towel, a small size bowl, a tablespoon, a wooden spoon, a medium size bowl, a strainer, a cheesecloth, a 400 to 500 milliliter container with a lid. Pour the soy milk into the jar. Add the salt, then add the sugar. And finally add the lemon juice. Stir well to combine the salt, the sugar and the lemon with the milk. Cover the jar mouth with a tea towel and let the mix ferment overnight or longer if your kitchen temperature is cold. You need to have at least 25 degree temperature. It's ready when you see the curd and the liquid separating inside the jar. The separation has occurred, the liquid is floating to the surface. Put the sieve into the salad bowl and line with the cheesecloth. Gently pour the content of the jar through the sieve.
use the second salad bowl to rest the sieve while you discard the liquid that was drained from the jar. Then put back the sieve in the larger salad bowl. Cover the curd and let it drain for 2 to 3 hours. After 2 to 3 hours, the curd is drained. Bring the lid container, the tablespoon and the oil as well as the emulsion blender to your working station. Open the cheesecloth and transfer all the cream into the container. Then add the oil. Mix until you obtain a smooth texture and the oil is incorporated to the cream. Then add the ferment and mix well with the tablespoon. Close the lid and let the cream ferment at ambient temperature for 12 hours. After 12 hours, put the container into the fridge for a few hours. The cream will thicken even more. It can keep for 1 to 2 weeks maximum in the fridge. To realize this recipe, you will need the following ingredients. 1 liter of unsweetened almond milk. 7 tablespoons of lemon juice, that's approximately 2 lemons, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar. You will also need the following utensils. A middle-sized saucepan with a lid, a thermometer, optional but useful, a wooden spoon, a tablespoon, a medium-sized salad bowl, a strainer, a cheesecloth, a 400 to 500 container with a lid. Pour the almond milk into the saucepan. Bring your saucepan to the stove. Set the burner to medium-high heat. Place the saucepan to the stove and fix the thermometer inside the saucepan. Let the milk heat up to 40 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is rich, cut the heat. If you don't have a thermometer, plunge your index into the hot milk. It should be very hot, but not burning. If it's burning, let it cool down a bit. Bring back the saucepan to your working station. Add the salt to the saucepan. Then add the sugar. Stir well to combine the salt and sugar with the milk. Then pour the lemon juice over slowly in a circular motion to disperse it evenly in the milk. Gently stir with a wooden spoon just a few times. Cover with the lid and let it rest for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, bring the medium salad bowl and the sieve. Line the sieve with the cheesecloth. Pour gently the curdled soy milk into the sieve. Let the liquid drain out through the cheesecloth for 15 minutes. Use the saucepan to rest the sieve while you drain out the excess of liquid. Place back the sieve on top of the salad bowl and let it drain for 2-3 hours. 
After two to three hours, the curd has drained out the liquid and is now thick in texture. Discard the eventual excess of water. Scrap the edges of the cheesecloth to collect the cream and scoop it all out with the tablespoon and transfer it into the lid container. Stir with a tablespoon to smoothen the curd and get rid of the remaining lumps. The almond sour cream is ready to use. Or close the lid and put it in the fridge. It can keep in the fridge with the lid on for one to two weeks maximum. So here we are, the four sour creams are finished and they have spent one to two nights into the fridge. So let's have a look at the first one that I made, the cashew nut sour cream. The consistency is really good. It's very creamy, it's very smooth. This is a sour cream that I often do and it always turns very good. This cashew sour cream is perfect to add on top of food when you need some cream because the flavor is just so perfect. It just tastes exactly like sour cream. Mm. It's sour, it's pretty sour. It's creamy and it's just good. This one is my favorite to add on top of food. It has all the qualities required for that. The flavor, the tanginess, the sourness, it's all there. This is a soy milk sour cream. So this one has a more solid consistency, but when you start to stir it, it will liquefy. This is an interesting product. Oh, this is the easiest one to make. It's very cheap to make. It's a good one. It's tangy. It's slightly sour, but it still has that soy flavor that often soy products have. So you can add it on top of food, but it's something that I will use more for baking goods. So this is the creme fraiche. So the creme fraiche traditionally has the highest content of fat. And for the purpose of the recipe, I've added neutral oil in it to mimic the fatness level of traditional creme fraiche. Creme fraiche is traditionally incorporated into baked food and I made this one specifically for that purpose. When you need to add creme fraiche to a quiche, for example, that's the one that you should do because it has the right fat content. This creme fraiche has approximately 40% of fat content. Well, it's very fat. It's tangy. This is definitely good for baked food or it can also be used to make sauce for salad, like Caesar or this type, this type of sauce. It also has that soy aftertaste that disappears when you incorporate into baking goods, but doesn't disappear when you eat it just like that. And here is the almond milk sour cream. It's pretty thick. It really looks like sour cream. It has a beautiful white color. The soy sour cream is slightly yellow, but this one is a beautiful white color. It also has little lumps, like you will find in real sour cream. And look at this texture. Yeah, this one is good too. This is definitely something that you can put on top of food. It's slightly sour. It has a little tanginess. You can slightly feel the almond flavor in the back, but in terms of consistency and taste, it's really, really good. So this is something definitely I will recommend to use on top of food. So here was a review of the four different types of sour creams. Now you can choose which one you would like to try first. And I hope you will like it and that will be useful into your kitchen. And I hope that will be useful when you will prepare goods that require sour cream. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more content like this, you just know what to do. Subscribe, like, and click the bell button to be notified when I publish new recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your support and your kind messages. See you next time. Bye.